right, I have the Ford Transit. I'm going to take it for a test drive. Right here, I have my key. Got to put my key in, and I'm going to get started. All right, shut the door. Put on my seat belt. All right, pretty cool. All right, let's get this thing started. All right, put it into drive. Turn the AC on. All right, we're gonna cruise on out of here. All right, so this is the Ford Transit. I'm gonna drive it around. Test drive, see how this bad boy operates. This utility vehicle, great vehicle for hauling stuff around, I guess, right? That's what it's for. It's known in Europe, it's been around in Europe for a long, long time. It is just now getting to the United States, not too long ago, like maybe about, I don't know, like maybe like 10 years ago to the United States getting popular. It got popular in the United States about 10 years ago. Now people are like using this as the number one type of utility vehicle. All right, they used to use, they used to use the Ford Econoline. That used to be the vehicle of choice, but that has all changed because now it is the Ford Transit great utility vehicle all right so we're gonna cruise around let people uh, get past and we're gonna cruise around and I can tell you like how it operates and so I'm gonna go ahead and make a left and I'm gonna try to accelerate a little bit just to see how well it accelerates I don't have anything hauling right now so I mean uh, that would be a different type of test I'll probably save that for part two so I just went over a bump I could feel the bumps relatively easily I'm just gonna all right, this vehicle definitely has to pick up. I mean, this is a utility vehicle, but it has pickup like none other. Like I would not expect a utility vehicle to be able to pick up and accelerate as fast as it just did. All right, I'm gonna come up here. Let's test out the braking. The braking is fairly responsive. It, it stopped pretty well. No. Granted, again, I don't have anything loaded in the back. I've had a lot of weight in this vehicle. It would not stop as fast as it just did. But it was very, uh, it, very promising results what just happened right there while I just braked. Uh, that was pretty impressive. I wouldn't expect like a large vehicle like this to be able to brake so well. Granted, I don't have anything in there. So let's just go ahead and cruise down the street a little bit. I'm gonna pick up the gas. I'm gonna go to the speed limit. I was just going about five miles an hour to the speed limit. I'm gonna go to the speed limit. And I'm cruising around and it, it feels, it's a relatively smooth vehicle. That being that this is a utility vehicle, but it's relatively smooth. I'm gonna get in on the highway to see how well it rides on the highway. So I'm gonna make a left right here. All right, I'm gonna make a left right here. This bicycle's right there. Now, as far as comfort in the ride, it's comfortable, typical of what a U-Haul would be. You ever rented a U-Haul? You, you know how like the seats are, they're like straight up and down. Not really much on reclining and whatnot, but it's about the same amount of comfort level. All right, um, one thing about this vehicle, it does have some blind sides, but but they make up for it with the, there's these huge side view mirrors that co compensate a little bit for the blind side as well as the doors on the doors the windows are cut lower so you can see more outside of it than normal all right so that's a plus with that now here i am accelerating the acceleration is pretty great that is really impressive i'm going to get over and there goes a the blind side but they have two different sets of mirrors they have two different sets of mirrors so on both sides so I can get the most visual out of it so I can see more out of it you know reduces the blind sides granted this particular Ford Transit doesn't have a rear reverse camera so I can't see myself backing out of it that's a minus but that's just with this vehicle right here uh, there are a lot of other Ford Transit vehicles where it comes with the vehicle but this one right here does not have that that would be a plus so, because right now I'm like kind of afraid of putting this vehicle in reverse because I don't have a camera and you just have to use your side view mirrors because the, the, the rear view mirror doesn't really work because I have a cage in the back with no windows that prevents me from seeing out the rear. But all is not lost, it's just one minor detail. All right, so I'm just gonna cruise around this street right here. All right, you're gonna get 
get off the freeway. So it handles pretty well on the freeway. One thing I like about it, with it being such a big vehicle, it doesn't knock around too much. With it being such a high vehicle, the vehicle's high on the ground, it doesn't knock around too much, which is a plus, all right? So I'm just gonna cruise around the streets. Cruise around the streets, get on out of here. I'm gonna try that braking again. I was really impressed with that. I'm just slowing down. Yeah, it, I mean, it's so gradual. So I feel so confident pressing the brake in this vehicle. It's it's unbelievable. I would not expect this from a larger vehicle like this. All right, I'm gonna squeeze past this. Again, I like the way the windows are cut low because the way that they're cut low, I'm able to see out the sides a little bit better, uh, which gives me more confidence while driving it. Uh, turning the corner, I feel a little bit of tilt because this is a, such a high vehicle, but it, it doesn't feel like it's going to tip over, which is a plus. All right, so I'm just going to cruise out of here. All right, just going to go down the street. Stopping so well. All right, I think I'm about to hit rush hour right now, so it's going to be a little bit congested. Not too bad. I'm not too worried. Now, uh, just gonna cruise down the street. Like, make, maybe it won't be too bad because I want this test drive to be as thorough as possible. All right, got the green light. Got the green light. That means go. All right, I'm actually gonna make a left or right, right here. All right, cool. Cool. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get out of here. I'm gonna make a right right here. Get out of this vehicle, and I'm just going to drive on down this vehicle is really responsive the, 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 the for some reason it turns fairly well I'm I'm highly impressed with how well it turns around turns corners very responsive like when I turn the wheel it's very responsive doesn't feel like it's gonna tip, tip over or anything like that which is really impressive I'm really impressed with that Slow down right here. Just cruising along, cruising along, cruising along. All right, here goes. Like, I'm stopping right here. Like, what did I tell you? Very impressive. It stops fairly fast. This lady needs to make a decision on what she's going to do. I'm not going to go past her, but looks like she's going to wait for the bus, which is okay. Or maybe she's not. She can't make up her mind. All right, it's okay. It's okay. I can't make up my mind sometimes either. So I'm just gonna cruise on down. Stop. See, I needed to stop. They just jumped right in my vehicle, and I was able to apply the brakes and stop the vehicle within time before they jumped in front of my vehicle. Impressive, Ford. You did a good. You did a good job with the braking on this. All right gonna catch up with the rest of the vehicle so it doesn't look like I'm a slow poke all right now I'm about to turn some corners really quick all right now I want you to see how well this corners around the corner I'm cutting the stop sign press the brakes and I'm going to turn around the corner all right well, it turns really well it doesn't feel like I'm putting in too much effort in turning the corner and then I'm gonna turn this one all right down the street nice cruise on down the street right. come to the stop sign beautiful braking beautiful braking this guy's probably like thinking yes you have a great brake system on your vehicle right there I'm like yeah yeah I do all right now right here we have some potholes let's see how it responds with the potholes Takes the potholes like a champ. Rattles a little bit, but doesn't shake around. All right, impressive. Stop sign coming up. Cruising. Now, the one thing I like about the Ford Transit utility van, like these vans, trucks, whatever you want to call them, all right, they, you can modify them into like a million different things. I've seen these vehicles turn into like a limousine. I've seen them turn into a food truck delivery truck I'm sure you can probably make them into an ice cream truck uh, it's it's great a lot of space in the back to stand up 
I'm not sure exactly what the height is for standing up in the back, but I can get those numbers out to you. All right, we're gonna cruise on down. Just making my way, making my way. It's great, this, this vehicle is great for if you're using it for city life, you'll be able to corner around buildings or corner around corners fairly easy. And in the city, like sometimes you're gonna come into tight, uh, tight quarters where you need to use a vehicle that can turn corners fairly well. And so I'm pretty impressed with this vehicle. All right, we're gonna wait to turn right right here. I go ahead and turn right, but there's no turn on red as you can see right there. So we're gonna wait for the light and then uh, gonna gonna go ahead and make a right any second. All right, now the, the panel in front, it's fairly simple. One thing I like about this vehicle, it's fairly simple. Like when you first get into a vehicle, I mean, you don't want all these bells and whistles and all this other stuff, uh, which is great, it's cool to have, but you want it to be functional. And that's what this vehicle is supposed to be. It's a utility vehicle. Just functional at the least is what you want out of something like this. And that's what we're getting out of it, all right? So you come up to this right here and go ahead and stop. All right? And then get going again. It's a great vehicle, great utility vehicle. I can't think of anything. Okay, the Ram has a vehicle that's similar to this. All right, Ram has a vehicle, Dodge, they make a Ram vehicle that's similar to this. And there's also a Mercedes Sprinter van. All right, fairly popular. The Sprinter van, people use those quite often. Uh, probably a little bit more expensive than this right here, but uh, this right here does the trick. These, these hold up pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here. Yeah, this has been a great vehicle to cruise around in, <laughs> even though I didn't, I wasn't picking up anything. Uh, it's a great vehicle driving around in. A lot of space in the back. You can check out my other videos. Uh, you can watch, you can see how much, how many things can fit back in there. A lot of stuff, a lot of space in there for hauling stuff around. All right, get up here. Wait for the squirrel to actually cross the street. Why didn't the squirrel cross the street? It's not really a joke. I just made that part up. Um, guess to get to the other side. I'm not entirely sure, but squirrel across the street. All right, gonna come up to this funny looking intersection up here. Come to a stop. Let's see how well the brakes stop. Look at that. Gradual, not too hard, not too jerky. Just enough brakeation. All right, pretty cool. I'm gonna wait for the people to cross the street. All right, and then we're gonna get started again. All right, cruising around. They have a manual shift right here, as you can see. I didn't get a chance to use that, but that can come in handy, especially like if I'm hauling heavy things uphill, or maybe I need to get out of certain situations like uphill or something, or in dirt or mud or something like that. The manual shifting can work pretty well. I'm not gonna use that. Pretty nice. Get out of there. All right, trigger. Here goes the air conditioning system, pretty simple. Sound system, pretty simple. Nothing much else under here. There's actually one thing up here. You see this area right here? I guess that's a place where you can place some papers. I wouldn't suggest putting anything on the dashboard because they can fly off, fly in your face and prevent you from uh, driving safely. Have that glove compartment, compartment for extra voltage, like safer engines you need to. I can't turn right there, my a couple blocks. Extra voltage, like safer engines you need power. There's two plugs right there for power. Pretty cool. And that's pretty much a test drive. One more time, we're gonna go around this street right here so you can see how well it turns the corner. Pretty well, pretty well. Nice, all right, so that's a 
test drive. Let me know if you have any questions about this. Let me know what your experience is or has been with a Ford Transit, all right? Do you love it? Would you get one again? Do you like it? Would you not recommend it? Leave a comment, what was your experience? Leave a comment down in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you soon.